those cambios. We have spelling changes, yes? Just like we had spelling changes before. You remember, yes. right? The O to U E, yes? And the E to I E, yes? You remember that spelling change, yes? And the E to I, and the and the what? Uh, U to U E. That was just the one verb, which was what? Jugar, yes? And these changes, these changes all occurred in that boot that we talked about, yes? In the boot that we talked about. First person singular, second person sing third singular, third plural. That is to say, we take a verb. Give me a verb. Okay? Oh, let's do pedi. Good. Okay? Pedi. Let's do pedi. You had what? Pido. Then what? Pides. Pides, because it's an IR verb. And you had what? Pide. And then what? Pedimos. Pedimos. But, but. P then. P then. Because that change is there, 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 and there. That's why we came up with this uh, this idea of the, uh, of the boot or the shoe or Michael Jordan's sneaker, whatever you want to call it. Okay? All right. So this is in the present tense. Present tense. Yes? Okay? For all of these changes. And you had to memorize these verbs. There's no magic formula for these verbs. All right? The O G U E verbs. Dor, me, po, ver, no, no, o, t, u, e, o, t, u, e, poder, en, con, cantar, casi, cantar, si, contar, Sí, con contar, no cantar, ¿no? Volver. Volver, sí. Vuelvo, vuelves, duermo, duermes, encuentro, encuentras. ¿Ok? Puedo, jugar. puedes. Jugar. 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 Juego, sí. Juegas, juega. Are you with me on this? Am I talking to the wall here, guys? ¿Ok? Give me an E to I now, besides pedir. Servir. 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 Repetir. Sí. E to I. A bunch of those. Yes? Venir. Venir. That happens to be a go verb. Vengo. Yeah. But then what? Vienes. Viene. Another go verb that has the go. Uh, okay. Tengo. E to I. Tengo. 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 Tienes. Tiene. Okay. Tengo. Tienes. Tiene. Okay. Another E to I. Otro. <coughs> Otro. He ahí. Eh. Entender, entender, entiendo, entiendes, entiende. Okay, comprenden, comprenden, sí. Okay, otros, otros. Quieren. Ah, querer, querer. Muy importante. Quiero, quieres, ¿eh? quiero, quieres, quiere. Comenzar. Comienzo, comienzas, comienza. And the same with empezar. They both mean the same thing, yeah? Okay, so. Empiezo, empiezas, empieza, yes, e to I. All of these have the same template, the same pattern, yes? So, we move to the preterite tense. We move to the preterite tense, okay? And they, and they talk about e to I, yes? They talk about e to I. That's not very clear, okay? e to I, yes? e to I change, yes? And they give you what examples? Servir. Servir, okay? Servir. Let me write that there. Okay, I know I've got those things. Okay. okay. Servir. E to I. This is the present tense. Okay. Presente. Presente. Si, sí, el presente. And try one more. I just like a dark one because it just comes out better. Yes. Uh, presente. And this is what? Pre te te ri. Preterito, preterito, the present tense, yes? E to I. So we have what? Servir, right? Servir, what other verb? Okay. Pedir, pedir, that's E to I, but under the what? O to U E, okay, we had what? Dormir, dormir, and morir is like that, yes? So what we're doing here now, we're not doing the boot, okay? We're only doing the third person singular and plural. We're only going to do this change in what? The L form, yes, and in the AOS form. In the AOS form. That's the only place that this that this change takes place in the preterite tense for this E to I. We don't have any single double. We don't have any single to double vowel. 
There is no single to double vowel change in the predator tense. So okay? it's only E to I. It's only the E to I. And in this case over here, okay, it's an O to U, basically. Yes? It's an O to U. So we're going to say read. So we're doing the preterite tense. So we know it's what? Uh, said what? Said B, right? What? Said viste. Said viste. But what? See. We have to move the ellos. Move over. There. Okay. See. See what? Bio. See. Sirvio. 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 That's the I. Sirvio. The E to I change. Yes? And only in the third person. And then you have what? Ser. Vimos. Si, servimos. And what? Sirvieron. 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 Okay? Sirvieron. I should probably write this. Okay? Uh, this is not working very well. Okay. <coughs> There'll be a short delay. Can you use music? Intermission. 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 Let's hope this works. Okay. Oh yeah. Sir. Sirvieron. Yes. Sirvieron. Is this better here? Okay. Sirvio, sirvio, okay? The I, the I, yes, yeah? sirvio. And pedir, we can do the same thing there, right? What is it going to be? What? Pe, what? Pedi, what? Pe, pediste, but, huh? Pidio, 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 and what? Pedimos, pedimos, and what? Pidieron. Pidieron, 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 see? No accents in the I, E, R, O, N on these two? No, 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 no. Uh, only accents on, on I. E and Y. Okay. E and Y. Same with the A, R verbs, right? Okay. A and O, A and O. Thank Nothing you. on the other one, okay? Yes. Bien, bien, bien. Yes. Okay, comprenden, comprenden. See, so I ordered chuletas last night. I ordered chuletas last night. Yo. P. 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 D. P. D. Pedí, sí, yo pedí chuletas, and you ordered, you ordered bistec, y, y, y tú pediste, but he ordered, he ordered turkey, él pidió, él pidió, okay, and I served uh, turkey at my party, yo serví, but you served, serviste, and she served, let's put an ella in here, okay, and she served ella, Sirvió, sirvió, ok. Repita por favor, serví. Serví. Serviste. Serviste. Sirvió. Sirvió. Servimos. Servimos. Sirvieron. Sirvieron. Pedí, pediste, pidió. Pedí, pediste, pidió. Pedimos, pidieron. Pedimos, pidieron. Ellos pidieron agua. Ellos pidieron agua. Pero yo pedí cerveza. Pero yo pedí cerveza. Pero yo pedí cerveza. They ordered water, but I ordered beer. Okay? Sí. All right. Comprende? Sí. Sí. All right. we know all about you. Okay. Sí. Okay. So, all right. Now, so that's the E to I. That's the E to I. And that's that's covered in the text. Yes. Okay. Sí. Dormí. Dormí. I did it really. I haven't had a a beer. Let's see. <laughs> Twenty years, maybe. Okay, so this one is what? Dor, dormi, what? Dormiste, dormiste, but what? Dormio, 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 and what? Dormimos, dormimos, but, huh? Dor Durmieron. 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 Sí. Ah, ¿Dormiste bien? ¿Dormiste bien anoche? 
En español, en español. No. No. No dormí. No me dormí. Anoche. Bien, bien. No dormí bien anoche. Okay. No dormí bien anoche. Sí, porque. 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 Porque estoy enferma. Estoy enferma. Estoy enferma. Estoy enferma. Enferma, sí, estoy enferma. Muy bien, muy bien. Okay. Comprenden, comprenden. Yes. No dormí bien. Ok. Ahora. Uh, Stephanie, ¿durmió, ¿durmió Donna anoche bien? ¿Durmió bien anoche Donna? No, do dormió bien. No durmió bien. Stop right there. Sí, ok. No, <laughs> no durmió bien. No durmió bien. Ok. No, she didn't sleep well. She didn't sleep. No durmió bien. Ok. No durmió bien. Morir is in the same category. Que morí, I died. ¿Sí? Moriste, murió. ¿Ok? Morimos, murieron. ¿Sí? All right. Like the standard joke, what is it? Uh, uh, they talked about Veterans Day. Uh, and one fellow said to the other in church, was it, uh, oh, we, we lost three. Uh, we lost three in, in the service. He says, was the first or the second? <laughs> never <mind. laughs> I, got it. I never yeah, can yeah. tell. Okay, comprende, comprende, yes? This is the E to IE, yes? Over here, this is present tense. This is our preterite tense. We have just a couple little changes there. A couple little changes. Servir, pedir. What was another one there? Repetir. Repetir. That's why I say repita, okay? Repita. I won't even go into that. Okay. Uh, repetir. What was it? Some more verbs? Were there a couple more there? In that section? Uh, a couple more of which words? And the E to I, the changes e in the preterite tense. E to I, servir, pedir, repetir. No, that's it. Recommendar. That's E to I. Okay. Yeah. Then let's, let's look at conseguir. Vestir. Vestir, good. Okay, vestir. I knew there was another one there. Conseguir. Let's look at vestir, okay? Because they have more. Vestir and conseguir. 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 Okay. Vestir. We know vestirse too, right? Yes. Vestirse. Yes, same idea. To dress. Okay. Uh, um, Jenna. Jenna tiene una muñeca. She has a doll. Y ella viste, ella viste esta muñeca todos los días. She dresses this doll every day. Yes. She dresses this doll every day. Ella tiene una muñeca. Okay. Y viste, and she dresses this, but she dresses herself in the morning. Se, se viste por la mañana. She dresses herself in the morning. Ella se viste por la mañana. And this is the present tense. Present tense, present tense, present tense. Okay, now, preterite tense, because this was an E to I, yes? That was an E to I. Okay, preterite tense, okay? Preterite tense, preterito, okay? Uh, uh, Bes, besti, what? Bes, what? Tiste. Tiste, vestiste, okay? Vestiste, huh? Vistio. Si, vistio. All right, so, me vesti, te vestiste, se vistio, okay? Uh, esta mañana, esta mañana, yo me vesti, yo me vesti temprano. Temprano, porque tenía que corregir estos exámenes. Sí, ok. Sí, me vestí temprano. I what? I got dressed early. I got dressed. To get dressed, there's your get again, ok. To dress oneself, to get dressed. Yes, ok. Uh, Kelly, Kelly se levantó, se levantó a las ocho. Ok. Y Kelly, ¿a qué hora te vestiste? ¿A qué hora te vestiste? Me viste. Me Me vestí. Me vestí. Me vestí. Sí. A las siete. A las siete. A las A las diez de la mañana. A las diez de la mañana. We tell the time. Okay, es de la mañana. 
Okay, when we're talking about uh, a.m. or p.m. or in the morning, it's por la mañana. Okay, better. Okay, bien. So, a qué hora te vestiste? A qué hora te vestiste? What time did you get dressed? Ah, me vestí. Me vestí. I got dressed at 10. Okay, a las 10. Comprenden? Sí. Ahora, okay. So, uh, Delilah, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly se vistió a las 10. Comprende? <laughs> Kelly se vistió a las 10. ¿A qué hora te vestiste tú? Me, me vestí. Me vestí. Me vestí. Sí. Ok, me vestí a las... Um, a las 8. 8, sí, 8, 8, sí. Sure, sure, sure. Ok, ¿comprenden? Yes. Ok, just E to I, vestir, present tense. Ok, same idea, only in the third person. Ok. If we all got dressed at the same time at 10 o'clock this morning, okay, ustedes, uh, ustedes, what, se, what, vistieron, se vistieron, ustedes se vistieron a las 10 de la mañana, sure, okay, now, conseguir, conseguir, conseguir is like seguir, that's to say we put a prefix out here, yes, okay, we put a prefix out here, so, uh, we're going to go, se, what, Se gui, right? Se giste, se giste, but, okay, si gui, gui, o, si yo, si yo. And that's in the back of your text, I believe, yeah. and that list under se gui, yes? Mm -hmm. You found it there? What number is it? Oh, it's on your verb sheet there? What do you got? Yeah, I just see oh, that. Oh, you just see for us, them changing words, and I go and I find the words. So. Good, 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 good help. Yes, you can buy that uh, it's in, in book. laminate it. It's, it's also in the text. You have photograph the page and laminate it. You know, mm -hmm. Carry it with you in your back pocket. That's fine. I think the page you're asking for is the verb with conjunctions, and it tells you what it's like, the verb conjugating tables, which is uh, appendix D. Sure, appendices, sure, appendices, yes. It's in the back of the text, and it has all of those verbs, yes. Mm -hmm. Most of all those verbs, yes? But anyway, so, segui, repita por favor, segui. Segui. Seguiste. Seguiste. Siguió. Siguió. Seguimos. Seguimos. Siguieron. Siguieron. So this is the same thing. It's an E to I. E to I change. Now we put con in front of it. Same idea. Okay? I got. Conseguí. I got two tickets last night. Yo conseguí. What does seguir mean? What does seguir mean? To, uh, to, to follow uh, or to continue, uh, to okay? Because that's why I say in class. Siga, siga, siga. Siga, 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 siga. Okay, <laughs> that's continue, continue. That's the command, continue. You have opposite conjugation. I R verb, make it an A. You've got a command. Yes. Okay. We'll talk about that later on. Okay. Okay. So you're with me on this? Conseguir? Yes. Charlene. Can you write the other two? Sure. Sure. Con, conseguiste? No, 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 no. Oh, con, conseguimos, conseguimos, and what? Con, si, gui, consiguieron. Si, consiguieron. They got, they got good tickets last night. Consiguieron, consiguieron. They bought good tickets. Compraron. They got good tickets. Consiguieron. Obtuvieron, they obtain, obtener, which is another story, okay? So, here's your E to I changes, okay? Spelling changes in the preterite tense. Yes? you got to put that in the brain, but we got to practice it. We've got homework to practice here. We're going to go over that in just a minute, okay? All right, moving on to, moving on to 8.2, 8.2, which is... Yeah, the whole object pronoun. Question. You're pointing to each other. Oh, Stephanie. Ah, see. I just want to make sure. For a reference here, you ah. change the E to the I, you do the second E, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Repito. Right. Exactly. Okay. Si, si, si. Repetir. Okay. Re, re, pe, ti. Si. Re, pe, ti. Te. Si. Repetiste. Ah. Re, Pi tio, repitio, repetimos, repitieron, sí. Bien, bien, bien. Oh, sí, Stephanie. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien, sí. Okay. Estupendo, vamos. Okay. Now, double object pronouns. All right. Double object pronouns. Let's just look at object pronouns for once. Okay. What are the object pronouns? Yeah, yeah. I got Mayte out there. Sure. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 Muy bien, okay. Vamos, okay. Vamos. Sí, vamos. We had direct object pronouns. We also had indirect object pronouns, yes? Okay? Direct object pronouns, okay? Me, te, lo, la, nos, huh? los, las. We remember, we remember, hopefully we remember. Okay? <laughs> we focus more on the lo and the la and the los and the las as replacing things, as replacing things, okay? Because this is an it. This could also be a he, okay? This is an it also, but could also be a she, all right? This is obviously us. This is them, okay? And it could also be a you. This is a you, right? And this is a me, okay? This is a me, yeah, me, me. Okay, these are direct object pronouns. And examples of direct object pronouns, yes? Okay, I'm in the store. I'm gonna use that silly example again about buying, okay? I'm, I'm buying, okay? I'm buying it, okay? I'm buying it, okay, for you. Well, no, for, for John, okay? For John, see? Doing for John, good. Okay, all right. I'm buying it for John. Okay, it. What's the it? Uh, una what? Cha what? Keta. See, una chaqueta. So I'm buying it. I'm in the store. He's tried on three jackets. He likes the blue one. Okay, I'm buying it for John. Okay, so it. It is the chaqueta. We're going to replace the chaqueta with an object pronoun, which is now going to be la. la. La, okay, because we identified that as a direct object pronoun. Direct object pronoun, okay. I'm buying. And answer the question, what? What? Answer the question, what? Yes. What are you buying? I'm buying it. Okay. I'm buying it. La compro. See, because the verb's not going to change. Okay. I'm buying. It could also be. I'm buying right now at this very moment. See, see, lo compro, lo compra para Juan ahora. I'm buying it for John right now. Don't be upset. See, okay. So, la, okay, estoy, what? Comprando. See, our present participle. Yes? Or, yes? Our present participle. Always use with here with the verb estar. See, la estoy comprando. I'm buying it. Okay? I'm buying it. This is, I do buy. Oh, I, yeah, I buy it every time I go into the store. I love, uh, what kind of gum? Juicy fruit? What? Dentine. I love dentine gum. I buy it. Be, this rice be a low because chicle is, is uh, gum. All right. Lo compro. La compro. La compro. Cuando voy a la tienda. Cuando voy a la tienda. I buy it when I go to the store. Okay, Charlene, yes? Am I too fast? No, I'm, I'm Okay, good, good, good. Cool. Right. So you can just say, estoy comprando la, right? Estoy comprando la. Yes. Comprando la, yes. Right. Estoy comprando la. We could tack it on, but for simplicity here, I'm saying yeah. we could put it in the beginning. Yes? We put it in the beginning, okay? La estoy. The text tells you you can tack it on to the to the uh, present participle. Okay? Now, I want to buy it, see? Quiero, okay, comprar, I want to buy, where's the it going to go? Well, also could go over here, okay, la quiero comprar, and I should not capitalize that then, okay, la quiero comprar, infinitive, infinitive, or, or, quiero comprar, la, either or. But you can't put it in the middle? Can't put it in the middle, no, 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 no. <laughs> You, you never want to separate the quiero and the comprar. Don't separate voy a comprar. Never separate tengo que comprar. Never separate puedo comprar. 
Never separate. Necesito comprar. Okay? Don't separate these. Always keep them together. These go together. You can do things on either side, but you can't separate these. All right? So, la necesito comprar. I need to buy it. Huh? Oh, I can buy it. I've got enough money. La puedo comprar. What? All right, so are both of those considered as a verb? I mean, I know comprar is a verb, but... Sure, yeah. Necesito, part of the verb to need. Necesitar. But you're conjugating. You're conjugating this. I need to buy. I can. I am able to buy. So those are all the ones that we're never going to separate. Never separate. Well, there's more, but I, you know, these are the ones we've used more, more commonly. Yes? Okay. Tengo que comprar. Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, I got to buy that. See, I got to buy that. We say gotta. G-O-T-T-A. Gotta. What is that? Okay. I have to buy that. Okay. La tengo que comprar. I got to buy that. Okay. I like that. I got to buy that. Okay. La. La voy a comprar. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. La voy a comprar. I'm going to buy. But you could also take these la's off, yes, and you could stick them on over here. Okay? La, 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 la. Yes? Voy a comprar la. I'm going to buy it. Huh? With comprar la, you don't have to add the accent on there? No. No, don't need to. What's that? And why? Okay. Syllabication rules. All right? Vocal. Vocal. Vowel. Okay? N S in Spanish, a word is accented normally. Normally, if it ends in a vowel, an N or an S on the next to the last syllable. The next to the last syllable. That's why when we say, okay, trabajo ends in an O, vowel next to the last syllable. Okay, trabajo. That's why we say trabajo and not trabajo or trabajo. What do you say vocal is again? Vowel. Okay. Thank you. So, okay, so now if we said trabajo, we change the tense, yes? Nice. El trabajo, he worked. So we have to write that accent in there to make sure we know. It's the past tense now. And that's how we pronounce trabajo. But normally, yo trabajo, yo trabajo, okay, I work. Ends in a vowel. Okay, hermano, hermano, chico. Okay, all of those end in a vowel. Give me a word that ends in an A. <coughs> mapa, good. Mapa, M A P A. Why do we say mapa? Why do we say mapa and not mapa? <laughs> okay. We say mapa because it ends in a vowel. Normal pronunciation, accent falls on the next to the last syllable, which happens to be in this case the first syllable. Okay. All right. Vowel N S, next to the last syllable. If it ends in a consonant, a consonant, which is anything but a vowel, if it ends in a consonant, not the N or the S. Eliminate N and S. If it ends in a consonant, the accent's going to fall on the last syllable. That's why we say tra ba ha. That's why we say tra ba ha because it ends in an R, a consonant. That's why we say okay, mujer, mujer. Charlene, that's why we say mujer. Instead of mujer, okay. Mujer sounds so crazy to me, okay. That's why we say mujer. But when we make it plural, okay. Mujeres, mujeres. Now it ends in an S. Accent falls on the next to the last syllable. Well, oh, son of a gun. That's how we pronounce it to begin with. Mujeres, okay. All right. Nación. N A C I O N. Nación. Well, that's a written accent, so that's how we pronounce it. Nación, even though it ends in an N. But when we make it plural, nación, nes. Okay, 
naciones into the nest. Accent falls on the next last syllable. Nación. Okay? But we've taken the accent off. We don't need it because now we're following the regular rules. Naciones. Okay? That's the shorter. We could spend an hour on syllabication and go no, through 50 examples. Yeah. But that's a good question. That's a good question. So it brings us back to here. Okay? Why do we have to put the accents in here? Because comprarla ends in an A. Next to the last syllable, comprarla. 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 Okay? Don't need an accent. But, but, okay? La estoy comprando. Estoy comprando la. So what did we say before? We said comprando. Okay? Comprando. We said comprando. Okay? Now, we're adding a syllable. La. Oh, next to the last syllable, comprandola. No, 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 no. We got to keep the original pronunciation, the original word, comprandola. So now we have to write the accent in to tell everybody, hey, keep the original pronunciation, folks. Don't change it because we've tacked on another, another word. Another word. So the key, the key, the main goal is to keep that same pronunciation, but you have to know to put the accent in. Or just remember, so no, just remember, ando yendo. Add an accent. Comprar, don't add an accent when you add one. If you add two, you got to put an accent in. We're going to come to that. Okay. Now we're oversimplifying this. We're putting some people to sleep. Yes? The exceptions where you can't separate whether comprar, tengo que comprar, does it apply to any other thing or it's just <clears throat> like, should we just memorize this or in general it is you don't um, separate the conjugated verb from the non-conjugated verb when you put the there may be a rule that says don't separate a uh, non-conjugated and a conjugated verb uh, I'm, I'm not sure I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just I have to look that up but I just know with these expressions and okay, there's several more these are like expressions. Expressiones, uh, yeah well this is an idiom here this is another okay. idiom thing okay but poder and necesitar or not okay okay so right. we just have to memorize it uh, because maybe in other cases there would be a separation. Well, we can also say espero, okay? <coughs> okay, espero comprarla. I hope to buy it. I hope to buy it. Okay. And you can't say espero I have to go through la and find out. Huh? No, no, no. You cannot separate those two. Okay. Okay. So maybe when a conjugated and an infinitive come together, you can't separate them. I, I don't know. Maybe there's a rule like that. To, to, to I don't know. Apply it to other things. I don't know. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Well, if you do translate it, you know, like, I, I, you don't want to put um, it in the middle. If you translate it into English. So I want to it by. No. Like, yeah, I, that's, I want to buy. Right? Yeah. You either want to say it, I want to buy, or I want to buy it. Yes. That's how they did Yoda in Star Wars. In okay. All right. Okay. So that's, that's direct object pronouns. That's direct object pronouns. Same rule applies to indirect object pronouns. I probably should leave all this up here on the board, but... We're, we're going to go uh, indirect object pronoun. Indirectly, you're going around a two or a four. That's why it's an indirect object pronoun. Okay? You're going out to the past. Okay? He's throwing the past. Okay? To the receiver. He's receiving the action. Okay? All right? So, uh, I'm, I'm what? Uh, I'm buying it uh, four. Okay? I'm buying four. This is a four. Okay? Or a two. We're going to go around the four and the two to get to our object. So it's an indirect object pronoun, okay? Indirect. And they are what? Me and te. Same, all right? But what? Le. Le. <laughs> okay? And then a nos. And then what? A lace. These are indirect object pronouns. So as over here we had me and you and he and she and us and them, over here we have to me. Or for me, okay? Or to you or for you. Or to him or for him. Or to us or for us. Or to them or for them. It's the two and the four that separate the indirect object pronoun. Yes? Okay. Doesn't matter if you don't know the difference. May, te, and nos, they're the same. Who cares? It's just the lay and the lace that you got to figure out. Okay? So, I'm buying the jacket for him. Compro, see, ¿sí? compro la chaqueta, la chaqueta, okay, 
para, we would say, para él. I'm buying the, the jacket for him. But the Spanish uses the indirect object pronoun all the time, all the time, okay? And he uses it, okay, and it's redundant. Le compro la chaqueta, and then we say not para, but a el. We modify, we clear up who the lay is, because the lay can be for him, okay, for her, okay, or for you, right? And this can be for them, or for you, plural, yes? So, I'm buying it for them. I'm buying it for them. Uh, ellos. Si, sí. uh, ellos. Les compro, okay, les, sorry. Les, les compro la chaqueta a ellos. I'm buying, I'm buying what? This is our direct object pronoun. That's our direct. Answer the question, what? What? Okay. The indirect object pronoun, indirect object pronoun, answers the question, who? Actually, for whom? Okay. For whom? Two or for whom? Okay. So, just quickly then, all right? We have these two together. All you've got to know is the difference between the lay and the lace. And the low las and the low la, okay? It's actually los las and low la. If this is a he or a she, this is actually him. It's not a he and a she, it's a him. And this is a her. This is a her. My error, guys. I've got to erase this on the tape. Oh my heavens, how am I going to do that? You're going to erase it? Can you erase it? No, it doesn't work. White out. That's it. Yes. The blondes. Yes. The white out. Why is there so much white out on the screen? Okay. Uh, him, her, it. Yes. So I'm buying him a jacket. Okay. No. If you say I'm buying him a jacket, it's for him. Okay. Le compro. Le compro. Le compro una chaqueta. Jaqueta, okay. Le compro, if you know who you're talking about. Le compro una jaqueta, okay. Ah, Jose. I'm buying Joe a jacket, okay. Le compro una jaqueta a Jose. Le compro. You say, why are you repeating yourself over here? Why don't you just say para Jose? Well, you can say para Jose. You can say para Jose, but the Spanish is more likely going to use the indirect object pronoun. Le compro una jaqueta a Jose. Okay. Okay. We've successfully put everybody to sleep here. Okay. Now, let's now, double. what's that? <laughs> now, let's look at the double object pronoun. Okay. Let's look at the double object pronoun. Okay. Let's go with the same jacket. Okay. I'm buying the jacket. Okay. Uh, compro. See, sí, compro. Compro la chaqueta que para, para José. What does that mean? Take it in the seat. I'm buying. I'm buying the jacket for José. I'm buying the jacket for José. Okay, let's take out I'm buying it for José. Now what are we going to say? La compro que para José. La compro para Jose. Okay. Now let's take para Jose out. What's para Jose going to be? I am. This is for him. What's that going to be? Le. 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 Can you just tack it on to the end then? La compra le. No. Okay.
Okay. Lay and lace become say before low la and low slots. Okay. Or, okay, can't have two L's together. Okay. Can't have two L's together. So, in the sentence, okay, I'm buying it for him. I'm buying it for him, okay? We start with say, because it replaced lay, okay? And then the la, which replaced chaqueta, compro. Se la compro. Instead of saying le la compro. Instead of saying le la compro, okay? It doesn't so, make sense. Okay. <clears throat> you can't, you can't, okay, le la so you say la. Okay. You're Le la. So um <laughs> so um la and that's second from last sentence is replacing the jacket, correct? Yes. Okay. And the say is replacing the lay. Yeah, okay. You wrote that out. To him. Mm -hmm. So him, I buy. I eat by. So him, I eat by. That's what it is. Again, let's say. Okay. Is it. Buy. You say it. it I'm a few original seller, so I'm, wow. I'm going to buy his jacket. Explain for you, sir. Yeah, the jacket, the objects are going to fly. Explain each other right next to the job. Professor. Who's got a camera? Can you take a picture of this and send it to me? Can you take a picture of this and send it to me? It's going to be on here, but I can't take a freeze frame and take it out. Okay? Just this section right here. Yeah. Gracias. Okay? All right. So, with this in mind, okay? With this in mind, all right? Let's just do a couple simple sentences, right? Do a couple sentences. And what are we, we want to use by or can we do something else besides yeah, by? Yeah, let's do something else so we don't spend enough money. <laughs> <laughs> let's eat. Okay, yeah, let's eat. Okay, so prepare. Prepare. Okay, I'm preparing what? Let's use our vocabulary. I'm preparing, I'm preparing fruit salad uh, for, for my family. Okay, good. Okay, I'm, okay, preparing. Okay, salad. Let's just use salad. I'm preparing salad for my family. For my family. Okay? So let's just start with, okay, preparo. Preparo. Preparo what? La ensalada. La ensalada. Okay? Para mi uh, me, me, para mi familia. Okay. <coughs> All right. I'm preparing it for my family. I'm preparing it for my family. We're taking la ensalada out and replacing it with la. 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 Take your cue. So okay. La. Yeah. Yeah. Take your cue from the. Uh, never mind. Uh, so we okay. La. Preparo. Okay. Le preparo para mi. Familia. I come into the room and you're, I come into the kitchen, you're working up all the stuff. Ah, a para quienes, para quienes, who's it for, para quienes, ah, la preparo para mi familia, la preparo para mi familia, I'm preparing it for my family, ah. oh, I come in and I say, ah, una ensalada, una ensalada, para quienes, para quienes, ah, la preparo para mi familia. I'm preparing it for my family. Okay? All right. Okay, so now I'm preparing it for them. Okay, they're out there in the dining room. I'm in the kitchen. I'm preparing it for them. Okay? So now we're going to keep the law in there. Okay? We're going to keep the law in there. Okay? Preparo. Preparo. But now it's for them. Ellos. Ellos. What are we going to put over here? 
Yes, it normally would be lace for right them, right? For them. But the lay and lace become se, okay, before lo la los las. So, 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 is for them. For, so for la preparo para mi ellos. Okay, it, talking about the salad, I'm preparing it for them. Again, reading backwards, Charlene. <laughs> okay, <laughs> reading backwards. Yes? So for la preparo para mi familia, would you say, se la preparo? Se la preparo, si, I'm preparing it for them. See, si, that's just what we just did here. Se la preparo para a, a, a ellos. Se la preparo a ellos. But you need the a ellos, but you're saying them. That clarifies the same, you which replaced the lace. But you still, right. you still need, you, need to put you, need to a ellos? Yes, because yes. yeah, you're clarifying a ellos for yeah. them. But, no, but, but, if you, but if you know you're talking about them, can you just say, say la preparo? No, normally I would I would put in the a ellos. Because, because okay. with indirect... You have to have. It doesn't take it away like it does with her. Because this could also be a yes. yes. This could also be a yes. Just the girls are getting the salad. This could also be a yes. ustedes for y'all. For y'all. So you, no matter what, you want us to always put a ellos, even though the say and the la are inside the sentence, and we know that we're talking about who and what, yeah. and we still yeah. have to put yeah. a ellos yeah. no matter yeah. what. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm preparing it for you. I'm preparing it for you. Now what do we do? I'm preparing it for you. I'm preparing it for you. Te la preparo. A ti. Te la preparo a ti. But you don't need the a ti because it's understood with the te. You know automatically who the te is can't be anybody else but you. Te la preparo. She's oh, preparing man. it. She's preparing it for me. She's preparing it for me. Me la prepara. Ella. Ella me la prepara. She's preparing it for me. I, I find a beautiful set of earrings. Stephanie, I'm buying it for you. I'm buying it for you. Stephanie, I'm buying it for you. Oh, um, well, I'm getting it for you. Consigo, consigo, I'm getting it for you. Let's stick with the I'm buying it. You would have any money. Te, 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 Okay, I think so. Uh, let's do something we know. What can I buy for 70? Te, 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 good. Okay, beautiful blue glass. Here we go. Okay, I'm buying it for you. Te la compro. Te la compro. Te la compro. Te la compro. Te Okay, te la compra. Jenna. Is the homework on this? Yes. What, what is the homework? Okay. <laughs> Good second. Yes. Do we all get the papers? No. 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 Well, that's why I'm just trying to What did you just say, Pat? Uh, uh, say that. Te la compro. I'm buying it for you. Okay. Could you hand those out? Te la compro. Te la compro. I can't wait for the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 So let's start here with the practice side. Start with the practice side. What? All right. Start with the practice side. The practice side. Okay. Start with the practice side. This is easy. I ordered the ham and eggs with cheese. Yo. Yo. Did you get one? See, I ordered. Pedi. Pedi. Jamón y huevos con queso. See. They served it to me. They served it to me. Ellos. Ellos. Good. Good. Ellos. 
to me, to me, our order is always going to be indirect, direct. Indirect, direct. So indirect, me, to me, they served, okay? Me, what's the it? It. Well, what could that be? Desayuno. Desayuno. El desayuno, good? El desayuno is what they're serving, right? Okay. Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay? Me, so they served me. it. They served it. Me. Ellos me. Le. Lo. Lo. Me lo. Okay? Si. Sirvieron. Me lo sirvieron. Me lo sirvieron. Me lo sirvieron. Me lo sirvieron. Con. Okay, with a lot. I put so much in here. That would be tanto. We're going to learn that in uh, 8.3 and 8.4 coming up. Okay? But con tanto. Tanto queso. Huh? Tanto queso. Okay? That. That. Okay? That I, I don't recommend that restaurant. Okay? No. No. What? Re co mi en do, okay? Ese restaurante. I don't recommend that restaurant, okay? All right. Number two, I tasted the sausage and onions. Use probar. You use probar. Yo pro probé. Probé, sí. Probé. Las salchichas y las... Cebollas, las cebollas, okay? I don't like them. No me gusta. They are not pleasing to me. No me gustan. No me gustan. There's where the they is in the verb gustan. They're not pleasing to me, hence I don't like them. We don't use an object pronoun there. We'll never say no me lo gustan. No, no me gustan. Just no me gustan. I don't like them. So for number two, I'm sorry, you, you would write, yo probé. Probé. Okay, probé. yo probé. Si. Sí. Okay. And then you say, I don't like them. No me gustan. No me okay. gustan. The shellfish and shrimp are delicious. Los mariscos. Los mariscos y. Camarones. Y los camarones. Son deliciosos. Son deliciosos. Good. Okay. I'm going to order them. Um, voy, voy a, a pedirlos. Pedir I'm going to order them. Voy a pedirlos. Voy a pedirlos. Voy a pedirlos. Okay. Could you say Could you say Los voy a pedir. Sure. Los voy a pedir. Los voy a pedir. And finally, we'll end up with that last sentence, and you can complete the rest of this between now and uh, next Monday. All right? I can order them for you, too, if you want them. I can order them for you, too. Yo puedo. Puedo. Okay. Puedo. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. Puedo. I can what? Order. I can order them. Pedir. Pedir. Okay. Yes. Puedo pedir. I can order. Okay. Now we've got what? To. Them for you. What's them? What's them? Camarones. Camarones y mariscos. mariscos. So what's that going to be? That's a los. Yes. That's a los. Los puedo pedir. Okay. I can order them. I can order them. Los puedo pedir. Los puedo pedir. I can order them. Los puedo pedir. For you. A ti. For you. I can order them for you. What's for you? T. T. What's the difference between T and T? T is the preposition, prepositional pronoun, a ti, always preceded by a preposition. The T is an object pronoun, either direct or indirect, or reflexive. What is a preposition? What would you like? Preposition. Oh, okay. A, de, después, antes, debajo, encima, sin, con. Those are all prepositions. Okay. No, no, no. Skip that. Skip that now. She just asked the question. I just answered. You, you, you'll get confused. Yeah. Puedo pedir. I can order. I am able to order. Now we got to do the what? Them for you. Our order is indirect. 
direct. That's the direct object pronoun that replaces mariscos and the uh, champiñones or whatever it was. Okay, and this is the te is for you. So you can either say te, what? Los puedo pedir, or you can also say puedo, okay, pedirte los. Puedo pedirte los. And you put the accent here on the pedir. <laughs> because we've added two syllables on Right. To be continued on Monday. Both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Okay? Both sides. <laughs> gracias. Buen fin de semana. Gracias. Gracias. Uh, okay, we're going to hit this again on Monday, yes? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure.